guys welcome back to our repair guys in today's video guys we will show you how to remove and replace cam camshaft position sensors on Ford Fiesta you have two of them one on the intake one on the exhaust uh, camshaft so we're working here on that uh, Ford Fiesta ST guys and uh, this one will have more than 200 videos taking the whole car apart so uh, feel free to check out the playlist, uh, subscribe guys, we are constantly adding videos about this and other vehicles as well. You can see we just picked that BMW that we are rebuilding now from a car auction. Uh, you can find some videos on World Mechanics as well. So, let me show you quick where the camshaft position sensors are located. Okay, check it out, right here. But, uh, this one especially, you cannot remove it without this assembly, it's impossible. And uh, we'll show you how to get to them now. If it's the back one, you might be able to do it, but uh, I don't know for sure. So we'll just go the long route, show you everything that we do, and you decide on your own if you're going to do it that way. So let's go ahead and start on it now. First thing that we'll need to do, we'll need to go ahead and disconnect the car battery. So we don't have any power. You disconnect the negative first, and after that the positive. Make sure that they do not touch. Otherwise, you might even have to remove the whole battery. You can always put like a towel or something under the post so it doesn't contact with the battery terminal. Okay, you can see like this one here. You can do the same thing for the negative as well. What we're going to do after that, okay. Uh, that, that cover, guys, is super easy to remove. You just pull it up. Okay, it has four things, four bushings that go in here, one here. Over there, you can see one on the front here and one towards the back over there. So that's that's all of the way. Next, uh, we're going to remove these holes right here. So on this side, you squeeze on both sides, okay, and you pull it out. Just careful not to break it, it's a plastic hose. We're going to remove that, uh, okay, that clamp right there. Okay, and just pull this one out of the way. Okay, I'll just flip it right here, so it's all in the way. Next, we're going to get a screwdriver and we're going to uh, loosen that clamp for the intake holes. Now, this one right here, guys, let me show you how you do that. You, you have to do both of them. Okay, this one. Okay, let me grab it with two hands now. You can see one is sticking out, you have to lift it up, but you have to lift up the other one too. Okay, and then you pull it up. Okay, let me grab it good because, okay, like that. And you can pull it out, okay, just like that. You have to be careful not to break things. Okay, and next we're going to get a... 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket right here on the screwdriver and we're going to get that nut loose there for the intake hose and see if we will actually have to remove the whole intake hose or we can just push it towards the back. That will be really good if we can actually do that, save us a little bit of time. So we'll pull it out of the box, okay like that. Next we need to get a 12 millimeter wrench, okay, and we need to loosen that plastic, I don't know what you call that thing, a bushing that, that holds the engine cover in place on the back side. Okay, it goes out of there. So now we'll see if we can actually push the holes out of the loop right here. We have a bushing and it's pretty tight. And. I don't think it will come out without breaking anything. Right here there is one clamp. Uh, okay, I'm trying to focus a little bit so you can see. It's a little bit... Okay, that greasy clamp right there. So we're going to get this one loose and pull the holes up. Okay, you can see the clamp is down there. Okay, right in front of that label. So we got it loose a little bit. We'll see if that will actually fix it now and you will let it go up. It looks like it might need just a little bit more, or it might come out, because you can see the bushing, it almost came up. Okay, you need to just uh, make sure that the clamp is loose all the way, and then you just grab it and pull it out. Okay, you can see, just like that. 
Okay, you can see. Okay, where it got loose there. Okay, I'm trying to get some light. It's such a limited room on that small engine. And we're going to put a towel so nothing goes in the intake holes. That way if we drop a tube it will not go inside, otherwise we have to remove it and pull it out. Next, uh, we need to disconnect all the ignition coils here. So we need to pull the gray piece towards the back on all four of them. You press down and pull the cables out. Okay, now this is the fuel pressure sensor right here for the fuel rail. We are disconnecting this one as well. And now we have, uh, we are going to get the clip removal tool. Okay, and we are going to disconnect a few clips here. Okay, one right there. We just pull them up. have to go a little bit sometimes in an angle left and right okay to make sure that they come out we're going to disconnect the okay the cable here and we'll pull this clip as well up and okay do this one here still holding a little bit so it needs to go down but we can do that later too okay you can see it came loose okay and just a few more clips here. You have to be careful not to break them because later your cables will be loose. Okay, perfect. After that, we'll start removing the ignition coils one by one. Okay, it's important not to lose the bolts or drop them on the, in the intake or anything like that. So, we'll just collect them and start pulling the ignition coils out. Okay, just two more now. And the last one. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to remove okay this board with a 10 millimeter. Still a little bit tight. Usually once you get them loose they go by hand. But this time decided to give us a hard time. Okay, almost almost out. Still moving there, but we will leave it. I think this one will not be holding anymore. Now Right here with 8 millimeter socket, we will be removing a few more bolts. We will not be able to reach on this side, so we will need to get a ratchet. This one is actually a 7 that I have here. Let me just grab it quick. And we will need to remove this one towards the back. It's a little bit less convenient there. Again, it's important not to drop the bolts and those bolts you cannot pull them out So that's a good thing This is for a good reason now And you just think that you removed all of them, but there is one that's hidden and it is this one right here It's with 10 millimeter deep socket because it's a nut <coughs> So we'll go ahead and remove it now And it should come up after that hopefully Pretty complicated little engine. Okay, the nut is coming out. You can see just a regular 10 millimeter nut. Okay, let's see if we can lift it up now or if something is still holding. That's unbelievable. It looks like we still have something holding here. And a few more guys, that's why it's a good idea to watch before you start doing that. You need to lift that seal up and there is two more. Okay, with uh, those will be just with 8mm. Okay, 8mm socket. 
Oh, smaller than that actually. Let's see if it's a 7. Yep, this is a 7. And that's where the fuel line is as well, towards the back side. You can actually see the oxygen sensors from here now. Okay, we still have a few, just need to be loosened a little bit more. And now we can go ahead and pick it up. Uh, right here we have one more clip that we will need to disconnect. Okay, you can see on the side. Okay, this clip right here. So how you do that, this one, you can just pull it out. You can see right here. And this is the cover on top. Now we got to the more important part. So this one is the intake camshaft position sensor right here. And we need to disconnect the wire, okay, you need to press down right here until it clicks and you pull it out. You can see there is uh, that hole is for this tube right here. Now with uh, eight millimeter socket, we'll need to remove, okay, that bolt there. So we'll have mechanical, electrical videos, uh, mostly electrical videos will be uploaded on our new channel. It's called Electrical Car Repair Live. It's only live videos, nothing editing, just diagnosing, fixing problems, fuses, things like that guys. So feel free to check it out, quite a few information there coming soon. So we'll just get the impact to save a little bit of time here. Okay, bolt came out. Okay, you can see right here. Looks like it had either rust or thread locker on it, one of the two. Now you grab the sensor, don't twist it left or right, just pull straight out. Most of the times, because you don't want to break anything. Okay, and you can see this is, uh, this is the hole. Okay, let me turn the light on right here. That's where it uh, reads the camshaft position. And you have two of them because you have intake and exhaust camshaft and you have the variable timing as well. So this is one of them. Let's go ahead and okay, remove the other one too. We'll just cover it here so we don't drop anything. But it's very important to remove that when you're ready to uh, when you're ready to actually put it together. Okay, we're going to pull okay that wire there as well. Okay, second bolt the same like the first one, at least it looks like it's the same. Then we pull this one too, you can see, this one is the exhaust camshaft position sensor. And let, let me just check it out if, if they're actually the same numbers as well here. Okay, I'm trying to focus in BM51. Yep, both of them are exactly the same numbers, the same sensors, but on different position. So, you put everything together in reverse order, we took it apart. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.